the official video of Saturday's Sinai airstrikes. There, fighter jets taking off at dawn and missiles hit what appears to be a house. The military says the jets bombed militant hideouts and their weapons stores for three straight hours. Ground forces including tanks also attacked. More than 30 militants were reportedly killed. Analysts have welcomed the quick response, which came just hours after 12 soldiers were killed at a checkpoint. We've seen the armed forces strongly attacking suspected sites in a very quick time. With cooperation from the residents in this area, it was easy to track down the militants' vehicles. The militant group seems to have been in a rush. They didn't plan this attack quite well. ISIL's Sinai affiliate Ansar Beit al Maqdis claimed responsibility for Friday's attack. It's the first major strike in central Sinai. Some analysts believe it marks a shift in strategy. This is by far the strongest attack Ansar Bayit al Maqdis has made since it swore allegiance to ISIL. It targeted a small checkpoint which has limited military significance and therefore it's not a heavily armed site. It's been over a year since they've made an attack inflicting such a big number of casualties. This was the least challenging way for them to hit hard. The North Sinai has been a battle zone for more than three years. Various militant groups operate there. The military has been pursuing a major offensive for months. While such military operations have limited the magnitude of attacks these groups could hold, Friday's attack shows that these groups are willing to take their fight to new locations in order to inflict greater damage with the weapons remaining with them. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.